Hey there, everybody. It's Justin. Back with uh, the first episode of one of these uh, nerdy videos. So I figured I should uh, show some beginner tips for Final Cut Pro. I thought it would be a uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to show beginners how exactly Final Cut Pro works, because I kind of had to figure it out all on my own as well. And videos like uh, this can hopefully help others. Uh, that are beginning to use Final Cut Pro. I'll have five different tips in this video, they're all a little bit different from one another, so there's a variety of things you can learn. All right, let's get started with the first one. The first one is to use the magnetic timeline here um, as much as you can because this is something that is unique to Final Cut Pro and that you can really take advantage of. I believe it is also in iMovie, although I haven't used iMovie in a long time. But basically how the magnetic timeline works is that your clips will automatically snip together instead of there being gaps, like there would be normally a gap here between other, other clips. The magnetic timeline really helps you organize better in my opinion. Others say it can get a little bit annoying at times, which is why you can turn it off. Also, command P, I believe, is the command to turn it off. You can also move tracks above the timeline like this. So you can do layover effects and other stuff like that where you want clips on top of other clips. And to get rid of the gap, you just replace the clip where it was and delete the gap. Tip number two, this is one of my favorite ones that I like in Final Cut Pro, is to use shortcuts. So the main shortcuts are listed here. It's A-T-P-R-B-Z-H. And if you select any of the letters on your keyboard, it'll bring up any of these. So I use the blade one most option when I'm splitting different clips up. And I find this is very helpful when I'm using lots of different effects and stuff like that. It just it really helps speed up the editing process for any editor of any level. Another tip is to use optical flow when you have slow motion clips. So if you have a slow motion clip like this, Something that you can do to make it so it is not so choppy, like you can see here, is you add this effect called optical flow to the clip. Now all you have to do is click on the clip and go down to video quality and press optical flow. Now what this will do, it'll analyze for optical flow. It'll stitch together what it thinks is moving and what is not moving. And it'll make it a lot smoother, especially when you have things, when you have people running or anything that's moving. There's not a lot of motion in this one, but I figured it'd be a good example. The fourth tip we have today is to use the command key when you're adjusting the audio. You notice when I'm changing the audio and I move it up just a little bit, it automatically goes straight up to 12 decibels. Or when you're moving it down, it's very difficult to control. So I find that if I use the control key and if you click you hold the control key and you move it up you'll notice it doesn't move up quite as fast and it's a lot easier to control the final tip for this video is to use the adjustment layer plugin now I'll have another video on how to download this but what an adjustment layer does is it allows you to add multiple effects to multiple clips at the same time so if I wanted to add just simple color correction to these three clips, all I'd have to do is put it in the one adjustment layer rather than each individual clip. This is the most useful plugin or download that you could possibly get for Final Cut Pro. If you, haven't, if you have any questions, comment down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, or share the video. I'll have some other Final Cut Pro videos coming out soon, most likely. And uh, yeah, later.